Hello. I don't know how much of this footage I can actually use because I bet the sound isn't probably great, but uh, yeah, I couldn't shoot this at home because I am going on a little mission today for my boyfriend, or shall we now say fiance, which really sounds really weird, but I'm doing a ring making workshop to make an engagement ring for my boyfriend because he was like, why do men not get engagement rings? So we're going to be doing that today. Um, which is very exciting. But before that, I'm going to get lunch with my friend who is going to be joining me at the workshop. So we'll see how that goes. Wow, that was a fail. <laughs> Six millimeters? Because it's for a guy. I look like a Starbucks worker. <laughs> Oh, 
my god. That's fun. Actually, all center is better. Oh, because if you use stuff center, the seam will be the front, and I want to avoid oh, that. Okay. You got one shot. Better oh, Tim? It's still that close. Oh, that is not straight. It looks. <laughs> uh, no, actually, all center is better. So uh, if you're ready to stump on this, you can stump around here. Okay, is mm -hmm. that going to be right under the stone? I know. That's, that's very true, Jen. Okay. So yeah, this is the script form. Okay. So now... So it's hard to answer the first I know. Because that's deeper. Yes, the polishing is Not more on the surface. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, did it get the white yeah. marks? It's right, like so they're almost ready. I just want to cut it. I guess it makes it a little hot. They're so cute. Like, I've had that diamond shape. It's a tiny. Yeah. Princess cut? Brilliant cut? Show me your ring. Show us our your ring. Wow. <laughs> 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 So I got a And when you use wire brush, I want to ask you to wear glasses. So just a moment, I can bring. So I'm gonna let you look on this hand. Hello, it is the next day. If you're like, girl, why are you wearing a hat inside your house? Sometimes you just gotta wear a hat inside your house. Um, I gave the ring to my boyfriend yesterday and I did not record his reaction because one, he doesn't like being on camera. Two, I thought it would be nicer to and feels more genuine to just like give it to him off camera. So we did do the thing. Yeah, he liked it. I think I made it a little too small, which is a bit of a bummer given that I measured his finger size like two different ways. So that's a bit of a bummer, but you can apparently get the ring stretched. So we'll think about doing that. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see all of this, but I like didn't explain it yesterday because i didn't really feel like it was necessary but i've been giving my little cat ungrateful daughter antibiotics for the last a little over a week now we have like four more days to go um and my cat i think i've explained this a little bit before but she's a little feral i when i adopted her like four or five years ago i adopted her knowing that she was a difficult case because she was like very skittish she doesn't really like people like even at the fosters she didn't really like um the foster like she didn't come out the entire week 
plus that she was at the fosters and then when she was at like the aspca she was in a kennel and so she had like a she doesn't like being in kept like in an enclosed space so she kept nosing the cage so she had like a little scar here when i first got her anyways so she i knew that she was a very difficult case she doesn't like being handled she doesn't like being held she also i mean most cats don't like getting pills shot up in their mouths twice a day but she's more difficult it used to be better because i used to be able to sneak pills into her um, snacks but we did that for too too many times uh, with too many different medications so now she is um suspicious of snacks <laughs> um that smell a little funky so now we just have to um grab her and pill her so this is like war war wounds from grabbing her it is what it is <sighs> it is what it is but at this point i have the skills at least cat grabbing skills wise i think i could be comparable to a vet tech so yeah not to talk about my cat too much but she's also having um a bit of a doo-doo problem she's having explosive diarrhea <laughs> because of the antibiotics oh uh, yeah it's been a lot anyways so today uh since i went outside and did all the adventures yesterday i'm like okay today i'm going to stay home and do my stay home crafts and i found in a closet coincidentally where my cat was hiding after i i drugged her i found pleather this seems like about a yard maybe half a yard um of this metallic silver pleather and then i also have this white one i was wanting like a couple more options with like handbags but instead of buying i'm like what do i why don't i make a handbag that i had bought this pattern from titka studio i already cut everything out but it's just like boston bag size uh looking bag with a zipper which i don't have a zipper so i gotta figure that out but i'm going to assemble everything and see um what else i need with i'm thinking with this pattern i'm going to make um it out of this silver i think silver is also kind of trending maybe and i have a couple more like summer related sewing projects i wanted to do because obviously i wear wovens a lot more in the summer than knits i cut out like um, pieces for a pair of shorts like a year ago and then i never actually did the sewing so i will maybe do that <laughs> and i also want to as part of my summer school uniform basically i want to make a short sleeved button down and I'm going to use the bu uh, button down pattern that I have made in the past. I have three or four shirts with that pattern um, that I copied from like an existing button down shirt, like a commercial. So I don't have a pattern link for that, but I might make another one of those just short sleeves and i'm going to use some old bed sheets that i have that are uh yeah those bed sheets are deceased because um i didn't realize i had a cut on my leg and i bled all over it and also my cat likes to scratch and tear up the corner of the bed mattress so the bed sheets the fitted sheets get a little rough looking on the corner so it's on its way out and we'll see what other sewing projects i do if at all because I don't, I have to be in the mood for sewing. And I don't know if I'm necessarily in the mood right now. So this, these are plans, but to be determined if I actually do any of them today. Oh, beer me. 
Thanks. That's a pretty good nest. I don't know. I like how he just sits on her. Hello. There are like so many morning doves in the area and we started feeding them from our window, so there's just bird sounds always. <laughs> so bear with it. Let's just think of it as background noise. Yeah, it's been a couple days. It's been like two, <laughs> two, three days since I last sat down and filmed. But I cut out a bunch of fabric. And I don't have any footage of me really doing that because I didn't... I am the worst version of myself when I have to cut fabric and it is stressful and sweaty and horrible and I'm rolling around everywhere so that's why I don't have any footage of it. But we've managed to cut out fabric for two pairs of shorts and the white button down shirt that I had planned and then of course I have that other shorts that I've been meaning to make for a while. Oh, and I also cut out the, the leather, the pleather for the silver bag. But the bag, I realized I don't have all the parts that I need for it. I basically originally was trying to think of it like I will make the straps out of the same material as well, but I don't have enough of the pleather to make the whole bag in the same pleather fabric. Ple pleather? <laughs> So I ordered silver cotton webbing off of Etsy as well as the zipper to go in the bag because I didn't have that either. And I also ordered some cording to go around shorts. So that's coming in the mail. So in the meanwhile, I also dug through my closet and found some old clothes that I wasn't really wearing. I had made a dress. I think the dress is the olive dress. Um, but here's the top of it. And it was just like a tiered dress with straps like this. I made it when I first started sewing, like three or so years ago. And I like it, but then the fabric choice was bad. And then honestly, the pattern doesn't really look that great on me. I can't wear this dress alone because it's really deep cut and I have no underwear that actually like suits this so I always have to wear it with like something under it and it was really hot and then the material I used was linen and it was super heavy. The sh straps would like dig into my shoulders a lot and it was just wasn't like the best for me. <laughs> so my decision was to take this apart and then turn it into a pair of shorts. Also, it's getting really dark here. Hold on. Oh, that's not any better, is it? What was I talking about? Yeah, anyway, so the skirt portion, I kind of took apart to make a pair of shorts. The shorts pattern is also from an existing like pair of shorts that I have that I made a pattern out of. So I don't, 
I don't have any recommendations. Also, it's a terrible pattern, but I just keep using it because I don't want to buy something else. I think puff and pencil makes like a good pair of elasticated shorts. So maybe look at that. But the shorts pattern that I have has the pockets in the front, um, kind of like, you know, so you put it in, put your hands in like this towards your crotch. But the olive dress that I had made have already side pockets in it because apparently I did that. Good for me. So I just lined up the front and back pieces along the side seams of the skirt so that the, I could just keep the pocket. And then I will just have to sew up the two side pieces together to make the pair of shorts. And then just rectangles for the, um, the waistband. I usually do three elastic channels, but then I'll do one elastic channel on top, one on the bottom, and then the middle channel I will reserve for drawstring so that um, it just has a little bit of that. So that's this pair of shorts. And then I have a pair, I have a gingham fabric that I cut, but it, it was also from a dress that I don't wear. I just realized I'm not a dress person. So I took that apart to make shorts and the sheets, they were pretty, um, they were pretty gross actually. Like I washed them a couple times, but they're still kind of like, they're old sheets. So I'm gonna have to like soak everything in OxyClean for a while after I'm done. But yeah, so that's the update. And I guess I'll start sewing now. And let me show you what I have to do with my serger. So I store my serger like with my sewing machine over there under like in the lower part of this uh, shelf. And then every time I put this serger away, the threads get kind of loose and tangled. And then I have to end up re-threading the machine every time. So what I did was just, I have a piece of masking tape here that I taped down all the the threads too so that I don't have to like re-thread this part and then I just need to I just have to like pull this guy up to make the um, threads kind of taut so that's that's what I'm doing um I don't know if this is like a good hack but this is the only way I found to keep it kind of intact because otherwise yeah it gets kind of and there's my cat Tell us a little bit about how you feel. How do you feel about the state of the world? Okay, thanks. I already made a mistake. I sewed the legs, the two different legs together <laughs> instead of just sewing the crotch. Come here. Oh, you're so good. You're covered in pollen. You're a little stinky baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Do you want to come home with me? I think you're the best person. Mm -hmm.
walls. Yo, which house would have this HP office jet V40? You mean you want to buy a fridge no. from Ikea? I would opt for spending an ass load on appliances. Oh. You want to try a tall See how you feel. Well, I don't really want any of the other stools. Okay. I wanted this one because I think it fits the, the table. Maybe it's not that short. Maybe it's okay. No bathroom. You want just a shower stall? I'd be okay with it. Yeah, like doesn't the mom die in like the first like five seconds of the movie? Uh, I'm, I mean, Lion King. It's not the first five seconds. No, it's still death. How to piss off your parents in five yeah. seconds. <laughs> okay, let me give you an update on the shorts situation. I didn't take like any footage once again because sewing has me stressed. So yeah, let let me just show you shorts number one. Oh, these are all inside out. Huh? Hmm. I'm almost done with these shorts, but then I didn't actually start sewing the one that I started this whole shebang for. So that one's still in pieces. We have number one just need to put the waistband on it's got these pockets if i can show you yeah pockets shorts number two which is inside out but you get it so they're mostly assembled i just need to put the waistbands on and then i will work on the button down and the other pair of shorts the other pair of shorts are black and i've been a lazy girl not a nasty girl just a lazy girl so i haven't changed out the threads on my sewing machine or the serger the serger i don't have any other thread for other than white so i just serge everything in white i know that it's like blasphemous but it's not like i'm selling these okay <laughs> they're for my own purpose my own poor poise so i think it's okay that the inside is all kind of like janky but so that's where we are with the shorts and the button down and then other than that i've been working on knitting up the striped sweater simply your sweater and i've been working on the sleeves they're a little bit slow going but yeah, that's what I've been up to. And then I went to Ikea today, as I would have maybe put in some footage about, so that happened. And I got a mirror, but I didn't actually get anything that I originally went for, which was a stool or two stools. I also wanted to get blinds. But then problem number one with the blinds, I didn't measure my windows, so that was number one. But then they also didn't have the ones that I wanted, so I have to order them online. And then stools. It's actually good that I went because the stools that I wanted are a little bit too short for my um my dining table. So I didn't get them either. But I came back with a mirror and this so that I could put my knits on it and then photograph them. It's kind of cool looking, right? So that's that's the update for today. Yeah. This week is going by so fast. Yeah. Today I will finish the shorts. TikTok right now. Dong Hua Jin Long. Wow. It's literally as old as a person. <laughs> I 
I had a video that I like uploaded. Okay, progress number, I don't know. I was working on the, oh, are you gonna be able to see anything? I was working on the pair of shorts that I've been neglecting <laughs> for almost a year. Um, I did pretty much everything that I could for now. Um, the pattern for this is the Trig Shorts by Elbe Textiles. I've knitted or I've sewed up a couple of their stuff before, this Trig Shorts and then the shirt button down shirt pattern that they have which is also good i really recommend i really like their patterns they have a lot of different parts um but i never found that the pattern pieces didn't match with each other or um the instructions were particularly difficult to understand i thought everything was super clear uh so i you know if you're in if you're in search of some shorts or a button down, I would check out Elbe Textiles. But I realized this this is a theme and a trend. I sew like I knit. That is to say that I start sewing once I have an idea and then realize halfway through that I don't have enough materials. So <laughs> I don't have the waistband elastic. So I have to put this project on hold until then. I think this looks even more profesh because it's got eyelets in the drawstring portion of the waistband so it's very different from the um bootleg <laughs> pattern um shorts that i made from an existing shorts pattern that i had so very professional um this is for my boyfriend and and then yeah so that was kind of what I've been up to this week. Uh, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I don't know how much footage I actually did get because vlogging is hard. Hopefully this was interesting. Took you around a little bit in a week of my life. And I'll see you guys in the next video.